you've ever been making Anki cards and you're using closed deletions, you've got a couple going, but you realize that one closed deletion is going to tell you the answer for the other. What do you do in this situation? I didn't know for a long period of time, but now I do, and that is what I'm going to talk about today. So let's get right into it. Hello everyone, my name is Steven and I am a first year dental student. I love to make videos about what I think is the most powerful software that we have as students, and that is Anki. Today I'm bringing you a very quick and short tutorial about how to put two closed deletions, or three or four, in the same Anki card and have them show up at the same time when you click show answer once. This is a really, really simple trick, but I didn't know how to do it for a long time and I was always looking for a solution to this problem. So let me go ahead and waste no more time and get right into it. So jumping right into Anki here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what situation you might use this technique in. All right, so let's say this is the text that we're adding in for this particular card. And what we wanna do is we wanna highlight the word chorionic and amniotic. Well, the problem here is that if we do this in the classic method, which is one closed deletion there and the next closed deletion there, these are gonna show up as two separate cards. And let's say in your head, you know that there's supposed to be two cavities that you remember. Well, if you see that the amniotic cavity is already there on the second selection, you'll know that the blank is chorionic. And let me show you this really quickly, what it looks like when you're studying. So this is a preview of what the card would look like, but essentially what you would read as you're studying is as the fetus develops, the blank cavity becomes smaller while the amniotic cavity becomes much larger. And this is obviously problematic because like I said, seeing amniotic cavity is going to give up to you that the answer is chorionic. What we wanna do is we wanna make it to where both of these cavities are left blank. And so when we're going through these, this card, we have to answer both at the same time. And the answer to this is not an expensive plugin or anything like that. It's a very, very simple change of the text when you're making the card. So back here in my ad interface, you'll see my text again. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply highlight the word chorionic and I'm gonna do my typical closed deletion, which is command shift C. And that's gonna bring up C1 as my first closed deletion. I'm gonna do it again to amniotic, the second word that I wanna close delete. But all I'm gonna simply do here is change this two to a one. Now, what this does is that it essentially makes both of these words one closed deletion, which means that you will see them be revealed at the same time. So let's add this card with command return and see what it looks like when we study it. So now, as you can see here, the effect that I was looking for has been made. When I read through this card, when I'm studying, I'm not gonna be able to see which cavity is doing what, and one is not gonna give up the answer to the other. So this is a scenario when I would use two closed deletions with the same C number, same closed delete number, which is C1 in this case, and as I'm studying, I hit spacebar and I get both of those answers to pop up at the same time. Guys, this is a super, super simple thing that you can do when you're making cards, but it's really effective at allowing you to not give yourself too much of a clue or a hint in your card when you're answering two different things in the same card. So hopefully this helped you. Like I said, I struggled with this and couldn't figure out how to do it for the longest amount of time. And Anki can be very difficult and daunting at times, so I'm happy to help. If this helped you, let me know in the comments. And if there's anything else that you want to see in Anki that you're maybe confused about or you really need a tutorial, let me know and I'll see if I can answer it. If not, I will do my research and try to come up with something for you. But that's it for me, folks. As I said, my name is Steven. Hopefully you stick around and subscribe to this channel for everything else that's coming. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I'll see you next time, guys. That's a good